Lily, here to talk to you about writing. Just like reading, writing has a lot of strategies that you should use and know to help you become a better writer. When you think about writing, think of it as food. You don't want some plain old boring meal. You need to spice it up. Same thing for writing. Don't use plain old boring words. Use words that are creative and that feed the reader's imagination. Choosing the right words can add flavor to any piece of writing. Being mindful of word choice also helps to build vocabulary and improve your spelling. I really love words. That reminds me, there's a story I would like to share with you about this exact topic. It's called The Word Collector by Peter H. Reynolds. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks. Some collect art. Some collect bugs. Others collect baseball cards. Some people collect comic books. And Jerome, what did he collect? Jerome collected words. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw. Willow Tisha. Certain words jumped out at him. He collected words he read. Emerald. Certain words popped off the page. Short and sweet words. Spark, bloom, drift, dream. Two syllable treats. Treasure, motif, whisper, candid, hover, glimmer. And multi-syllable words that sounded like little songs. Kaleidoscope. Guacamole, geometry, wonderful, symphony. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say. Aromatic, vociferous, effervescent. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Molasses. Tyrannosaurus Rex, Torrential, Smudge, Bellow. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collections grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. One day while transporting them, Jerome slipped and his words went flying. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had become jumbled. Big words next to little words, sad words next to dreamy words. Jerome began stringing words together. Words he had not imagined being side by side. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved, they delighted. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. He saw children in the valley below, scurrying about, collecting words from the breeze. 
Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. Reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. By Peter Hamilton Reynolds. The end. So, when you begin writing, get rid of those stale, used up words. You can use a thesaurus, or just use the knowledge you already have. You actually know more words than you think you do. Try this. Take a simple word like big and think of all the other words you can use to express the same thing. Like giant, huge, large, enormous, and that's just the beginning. If you use a thesaurus, you can find even more flavorful words, like colossal or gargantuan. Now look, which sentence do you think is better? The big mosquito left a big red mark on my arm. Or the huge mosquito left a colossal red mark on my arm. If you want to get really fancy, you can spice up a few words at a time. The huge mosquito left a colossal crimson colored mark on my arm. See, it's not really that difficult to avoid bland, boring writing. Spice up your word choice and give your reader something to devour.